Hello everyone, today we'll be taking a brief look at the Huolong Heat Maker, which is a new minigun for the heavy. The crafting recipe, quite simply, is three uh, family businesses. You can finally put those family businesses to use instead of just lying in your backpack, but hey, who really has three family businesses? And one reclaimed metal, so it's fairly cheap to craft. Uh, the official stats on it is sustains a ring of flames while deployed and minus six ammo per second consumed. Well, just sorry, six ammo per second consumed while deployed. If you don't exactly understand what it means, just check out the footage here. You can see a huge ring of fire deployed around the heavy. So basically, he becomes like an AOE pyro, and uh, it does eat up a lot of ammo while you're, uh, you know, deployed. So you gotta watch out uh, on on your ammo count. It, the good thing about this weapon is, as you can see right there, it does, you know, it does exactly what it says. It lights enemies around you on fire. The ring is not huge, but it does a considerable amount of damage, and that's good. Spies and stuff like that will be pretty easily detected. Uh, you have to be pretty fast, though. I show it later on where, um, because of some lag compensation, it's sometimes pretty hard to turn around and exactly backstab a spy when he's about to come out on you. You know, obviously, the, the downside to this is that you, as I said before, you, you consume a, a huge load of ammo, so you want to use this on maybe a little bit smaller maps or on places you know where you're going to charge into a big bunch of enemies where you can actually um, walk over the weapons and consume their ammo. This weapon does a considerable amount of damage while you're outputting flame damage and you're outputting just regular minigun damage. And we will take a, um, a brief look here about little situations where I imagine useful situations, one of them being if you're uh, a heavy that is jumping in to a sentry nest, obviously you know, they're not real time, but you know, you kill the engineer by lighting him on fire and by doing minigun damage, that's a lot of damage. Another one here for spies, just showing just the raw damage output of the flame itself, it's not that bad, I'm just, you know, flaming myself here. As for backstabs and detecting spies, uh, there's a big fly in it, if you're a spy and you jump, uh, you bypass the flame. So that's 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 that. The 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 flame is only active on the ground. So that's it for this weapon. There isn't really much to review about the weapon uh, besides for this. So I'll be coming out with guides for the other weapons, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.